Okay, here we go again. In this episode, I'm showing you how to measure for a kilt using my measurement system. The reason for this is not everybody is able to make uh, easily or affordably make several trips to Vancouver. I have uh, customers across the country, across the world. Um, by taking the measurements yourself and sending them to me, I'll be able to finish your kilt to the point that when you come in for your final fitting, it's within the parameters what I can achieve while you wait. There's four measurements to take. The first of them is the natural waist. And the natural waist is this point here, just at the base of your ribs, almost invariably three fingers above your navel. I pass the tape, and it's about as snug as a pair of pants should be. Don't freak out when you see the number, because when you look at the, the sizing that you buy in the stores, retail clothiers lie like a blanket, right? My, when I buy jeans, it says 36. I say BS, because my measuring tape, which doesn't stretch, says 42. So there we go. Now the tape is about as tight as a pair of trousers. The second measurement we're going to take is the widest part of the hips. And this measurement is only as tight as need be to prevent the tape from falling down. Make sure your pockets are empty. I made that mistake once. fellow had an absolutely horse gagging wallet in his back pocket. I didn't notice it or I didn't think it mattered. I measure him. I make the kilt. He comes in for final fitting. And he's asymmetrical. I almost wound up asking if he'd let air out of his it was kind of an embarrassing moment, so don't make that mistake. So there we go. The third measurement is called the fell, and that is from the natural waist to the widest point of the hip. Air a little bit aside on the side of the caution. If it looks like it's eight, eight and a half, go with the eight and a half. The fourth measurement is natural waist to the top of the kneecap. Not the middle of the kneecap, the top. And the tape is, is tight, it's, but it's not singing tight. It's not like a bowstring. Now I measure for the top of the kneecap, you'll notice and you'll wind up meeting people in your life that insist that the correct way to measure for a kilt is to kneel and the cloth brushes on the ground. I say nonsense, I've been doing this for 40 years, I've been wearing kilts for over 50 years, that will create a kilt that's too long. The top of the knee is the right length for a person who's active and wearing his kilt. We run in them, we fight wars on them, remember, we certainly get in scraps in them, we want it at the top of the kneecap. So there you go, natural waist, widest point of the hip, fell, total length, thank you, and good night.